I remember being in my grandma's kitchen, tugging at her apron, asking for just a little taste of whatever she was cooking. Granny, may I lick the spoon? Is the cake done yet? Now it's my kitchen, my children and grandchildren, and even my husband tugging at my apron for just a little taste of whatever I'm cooking. Hello, I'm Coco. Now come on into my kitchen where every batch is made from scratch. Hello, welcome, welcome to Cooking with Coco. Keto style, guys, and a little bit of not so keto. How about that? <laughs> if you are keto, and then I will indicate what is keto and what isn't keto, so everybody gets a nice variety of all of this goodness. How is everybody doing? Good evening, good evening. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I pray that you have had a wonderful week. I know that I have. We're going to open up with a word of prayer and then we're going to. Get started with this amazing, sticky, oh my goodness, oven, barbecue, and some stuffed zucchini. Oh my, y'all, I promise you, this is a good one. So let's open up with a word of prayer. We'll get started. Dear God, we come this evening thanking you for another blessed week. God, we thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy, God. We thank you for the traveling grace, Lord, that you gave us all of this week, God. Lord, we thank you for the viewers, and we ask you to bless them in a special way, God. We ask you to bless the food that we're getting ready to prepare, God, and we ask that it be a nourishment for our bodies. We ask all of these things in your precious darling son, Jesus. Amen. Okay. Of course, one of my absolute favorites, I love barbecue ribs. I love them. How about you? What y'all cooking? Come on in. To cooking with Coco's Kitchen. Listen, for this sticky oven barbecue ribs, this is what you need. You need four pounds of ribs. If you're gonna feed more than eight to 10 people, double the ingredients so that you don't run out. Coco never runs out. I don't like to run out of food. You need two teaspoons of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, two teaspoons of salt, you need one teaspoon of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of chili powder, and or you can use cayenne pepper. I'm gonna use two, both of them, okay? We're just gonna kick this up a bit, a uh, little bit spicy, a little bit hot, a little bit heat. And you need two tablespoons of olive oil, okay? Uh, for this particular dish, the um, nutritional facts for this per serving is 630 calories, 32 grams of carbs, 45 grams of protein, and 34 grams of fat. Let's get started. Oh my, my, my. Oh yeah. First guys, I want to let you know that I have um, been asked to do a cooking set segment for Mosaic Templars for their health and wellness during the Juneteenth celebration. And I tell you, I am just so elated. I thank them so, so very much. Do you know what Juneteenth is and what it really represents? Juneteenth is the annual celebration that remembers the landing of Union Army Major General Gordon Granger at the Gaveston Bay, Texas. He announced the to the last group of enslaved African Americans that President Lincoln had issued the Emancipation Proclamation and they were free. The celebration included music, dancing, and food. The foods included barbecue. That's why we're doing barbecue tonight, which was a large part of the Texas cuisine, okay, watermelon, uh, was part of this because mid-June was the height of watermelon season in Texas and they drank red drinks. Red drinks were a remnant of the your Yuba and Congo people brought from West Africa to Texas during the 19th century. In West African cultures, red is a symbol of strength, spirituality, life, 
and death. I just thought I'd give you a little education on that. And I'm also so, so, so happy um, the Mosaic Templar will also house my cooking, my cookbooks. So you will be able to purchase and visit Mosaic Templars and you'll be able to see and purchase some of my cookbooks. Cooking with Coco, keto style, and cooking with Coco, every batch made from scratch. Y'all remember that, okay? So again, thank you, Mosaic Templars. I do appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get started with these amazing ribs. Okay, so what you need, let me get all of this goodness over here. Where is, okay, we need this first. <laughs> I'm gonna put, put on some gloves. Okay, we have our cookie sheet here, our baking sheet, and you need some ribs, okay? So, I have my ribs here, and the seasoning, this, oh, this rub is to die for. So, remember, you want all of these great seasonings. So, we have our ribs, and remember, the membrane that's on the back of the ribs, you want to make sure you cut that tough, membrane off okay so you, you it, they're easy to handle so what you need i called out those delicious ingredients okay so we're gonna put um our chili powder our paprika our garlic powder our onion powder our cumin all of this goodness, y'all. Come on, let's cook, cook, cook. Who likes ribs? What are y'all cooking this evening that we have our onion powder? Y'all, come on. This is a good one, okay? This is a good one. Then you want to take all that goodness. You want to mix that up really well. And I said I wanted to add some cayenne and along with the um, paprika. So we want to add just a little... I like a little kick. What about y'all? Are y'all good? Everybody's good? Now, that's a nice rub, so then we want to just spread that on our ribs like so. Okay? Then we want to take a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Okay? Like so. Y'all doing all right? Today is a good day. You know why? You still here? You watching Coco, cooking with Coco. Listen, now I've already, now I've seasoned that side. We want to turn it over. We want to give this back side some nice seasoning as well. Okay, like so. And guys, um, the barbecue sauce is what makes it the sticky, the delicious, the olive oil. That helps to tenderize. That helps it to caramelize. It does all of that good stuff. Then you want to rub all this goodness in like so. Okay, just like that. And we want to flip it back over like that. Then we want to cover it like this. Now, then you want to put this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees. Okay, now while that's doing that, we're going to, I'm going to show you this amazing barbecue sauce that we're going to put on after those ribs come out. Now, you know, of course, I've already baked these ribs. So they're ready, but now I'm going to show you how to make this amazing barbecue sauce. Okay? Easy breezy. Another easy breezy. Nothing to it but to do it, guys. Okay? So we have our seasonings here. So what you need for your barbecue sauce, I think I got it over there, Kia, for your barbecue sauce. Yeah. Okay. For your barbecue sauce, guys, you need two cups of barbecue sauce. You need three tablespoons of minced garlic, two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of salt. Okay, so now we want to put our barbecue sauce in our bowl. 
Okay, now guys, for this one, use a good quality barbie, barbecue sauce for this, okay? We're gonna put our Worcestershire sauce in here, our olive oil, our pepper and our cayenne, and our minced garlic, okay? Nothing to it but to do it. Listen, now we wanna stir all of that goodness up like so. Look at that. Easy breezy, guys, nothing to it but to do it. See that? Nothing to it. Now, we want to take our baked ribs that have been in the oven for two hours. Now, this is what they look like, okay? Now, you want to take those ribs and flip them. You want to take some of this goodness and spread all this delicious barbecue sauce on the front and the back okay you see what i'm doing now we want to flip it on this side and we want to add the rest of that nice sauce we're going to put it in the oven and we're going to put it on 425 degrees open face we're not going to cover this up and it's going to glaze or caramelize all of this goodness now the ribs have been in the oven for two hours, okay, at 350. So now this is what we want to do. I'm gonna take my ribs. Okay. Turn my oven on broil. Okay. Start it. Move this out of the way. Yeah. While that's glazing, all of that goodness, let's get started with this amazing stuffed ooh wee zucchini. Kind of reminds you of what is it branded? Um, lasagna. Lasagna. Yes. But only thing we're using, we're using zucchini. And this, this particular recipe, this is called Ricotta Stuffed Zucchini Rolls, okay? You need four, three or four medium zucchinis. You need two tablespoons of olive oil, a fourth a teaspoon of sea salt, a fourth a teaspoon of black pepper, okay? So, I have my mandolin here. If you don't have a mandolin, it's okay. You just can cut them nice and thin, okay? I find this to be much easier for me. Uh, if you want to purchase a mandolin, you can get it from Walmart. You can get it from uh, Bath and Beyond. Um, Target. Target. Okay. Now, what you do so that you have an even stroke, we're going to go just like so. We're going to take that back part off. Okay. So this may be, um, if Tiff Cooley, if you're watching, I know she likes little gadgets and gadgets like Coco does. So you may want to invest in this. Listen, you can cut a fruit. You can cut up vegetables. I'm missing my plate there. Okay? It's easy. You have to be really careful because that blade is really, really sharp. Okay? So be careful. There is a guide, a little handle, but I find it's, it's difficult for me to do it because um, this particular vegetable is not like a circle. So it's hard for me. Okay. So, easy breezy, we're going to take this one, do the same. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what all this looks like in just a minute. And again, if you don't have a mandolin, just get your nice sharp knife and try to cut them um, as best as you can to make them even. Okay, I'm going to flip that over like so. And one more, I think. See here, yeah. Y'all doing okay tonight? Everybody's good. Did I give them the nutritional values for this particular recipe? Okay, the nutritional uh, facts for this particular recipe is 164 calories, one 8.8 .8 grams of fat, and 13.5 grams of protein. Y'all can do it, okay? I'm gonna slow my roll a little bit. I'm gonna take this and put this to the side. I and oh, the sauce. 
There is a sauce for this as well. Okay. So for the sauce that I'm going to make here, you need a 10 ounce um, can of tomato sauce, a half a tablespoon of olive oil, a half a teaspoon, a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, one garlic clove, mint, sea salt to taste. Okay. So now we have, that's all right Oh, but my, the, <laughs> the filling for these delicious ricotta stuffed zucchini rolls. Okay, for the filling, guys, let me get my bowl. Did I have my bowl? Okay, here it is. Okay, what you need is a six ounce whole milk ricotta cheese. Don't get the non fat, get the sick, get, um, the whole milk ricotta cheese, okay? You need a fourth a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, you need one large egg, a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, one cup of mozzarella cheese, okay? So, for the filling, we have a mozzarella cheese, you need a six ounce ricotta, and that's about, six ounces is about 12 tablespoons. You need one egg, You need Italian seasoning. Okay. You need a little um, sea salt and black pepper. And guys, this is something that I just like. So what I'm doing, a little salt, I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese. I love Parmesan cheese. So I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, okay? like so. Then you want to mix all of this goodness up. So we have a mozzarella, we have a ricotta, we have the egg, we have the Italian season, a little sea salt, black pepper, and you want to give that a nice stir like so. Okay? Now, with your zucchini, you want to take about a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, like so. You want to add some Salt, black pepper, okay? And then you just wanna mix all that goodness like this. Mix all that together, the olive oil, salt and pepper, okay? All right, so now, now what you do, you want to put your zucchini on a cookie sheet and you want to put it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until it tenderizes, okay? Once it tenderizes, it looks like this, okay? Now, the sauce that we need, okay? So you want to take, let me, let's, let's get this sauce going. You want your... Here. What did I do with my towel, guys? Okay. For the sauce, we got our 10 ounce um, tomato sauce. We have a half a teaspoon of olive oil. Okay. Your balsamic vinegar, which is a half a teaspoon. Okay. I'm just eyeballing it one garlic clove, and Italian seasoning. Brandon, can you hand me that um, on the door? Um, the garlic, okay? Now we wanna take this and mix this well. Right there on your left hand side. Your other left. <laughs> yes. Now, I think I'm gonna do it in the in the refrigerator. Okay. Now, so that's the zucchini has been in the oven for about 15 minutes until it tenderizes. Okay. All right. Then so we 
I'm going to take one minced garlic, put that in there. Okay, stir that nicely. Now, you want to cover the bottom like so. Okay. Just like that. Now, all of this goodness that we've mixed together, the ricotta, the mozzarella, okay, the parmesan, salt and pepper. Now, you take one of your baked zucchini and you roll like this. And you put that in the pan, just like that. Take your other one. Now, this is the time actually you can Add whatever else you may want. I've turned it off. Mm -hmm. In um, in your mixture. So you know, y'all, I like bacon. So at this time, you know, you could you could put you could add a little bacon if you so choose. Okay. You take that. And the reason you're gonna put the zucchini in the oven uh, for about 15, 10 or 15 minutes is to tenderize it so that you can roll it very easily. Okay. But I tell you guys, this is absolutely delicious. It is so, so, so good. Okay, like that. And it kind of reminds you of lasagna. Same concept, but you were just using a vegetable instead of a noodle. This particular recipe here, this is keto friendly, okay? The ribs, of course, are keto friendly, okay? So, see how easy breezy? Delicious, delicious. And you roll and wrap, and sometimes they don't want to stay put, so you can always take your little toothpick and pinch the side, and it'll stay like that, okay? Easy, breezy. Did anybody tell me what they're, um, what they're cooking tonight, Brandon? We have a giveaway tonight. Y'all gotta come on cook with Coco. What's up? How y'all doing? <laughs> How's everybody doing? My mom's in the house tonight. I appreciate her, her support. Hey, mom. Hi. <laughs> yes. Now, the other ones that I have not um, put in the oven, I can do that later, though. Now, then what you want to do, you want to cover your noodles like this with the rest of the sauce. I won't do it on the show, but I'm gonna complete the rest of them so that we're not wasted. But let me show you something. Let me show you something. Oh, man. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Okay, let's see here. Now, once you do that, let me just clean up a bit. Get some of this out of the way. What's our what's our question for tonight for our door prize? I'm gonna wipe that up, get that cleaned a little bit. Okay. Now, what you want to do? You want to take some mozzarella cheese, and then you top the mozzarella cheese. Hey, Mom, and Dad's Reverend Smith is watching. He's saying, hey, Mom. <laughs> and you, you cover that with mozzarella. Now, I will finish the rest of them, but we just won't do it on the show, okay? Then you put it in a 350-degree oven, and you let that bake for about 15, 20 minutes. Let it come to a nice brown, oh, my goodness. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Good for your tummy. Okay. Let's check our ribs out. Oh boy. So what, what are they cooking tonight? Is they cooking? What they cooking? Nobody's cooking Brandon. Oh my goodness. It's Friday night. Well, maybe you all are going out. Are y'all going out tonight? You know, people are getting a little bit comfortable with going out and eating out. So maybe that's what everybody will be doing tonight. I don't know. Y'all talk to me. Y'all not talking to Coco tonight. Oh, now, I thought we were friends. <laughs> yes. Okay, hey, Julia, Julia Shockley and Brian Montgomery. Reverend, how are you all doing, good people? What are y'all eating tonight? What are y'all eating tonight? I'm gonna show you all 
these delicious things. Okay. Let's see here. Yes. Okay. So guess what? What are we have? Oh my goodness. The first person to comment, hey Coco, on my YouTube video will win a cooking with Coco apron. So let's see who that first person gonna be. Come on, y'all, let's do it. The first person <clears throat> that says, hey Coco, on my YouTube, they will win a cooking with Coco apron. Yes. So how about that? Y'all come on. I'm going to be looking. I'm going to watch. I sure am. Yes. Okay. And then we have, let's take this out. Ooh, it is. Y'all don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. I do appreciate it. Again, this segment will be on the Mosaic Templars website during the event and celebration of Juneteenth. And I was just honored and grateful and thankful for that opportunity. Again, listen, listen, y'all better come on. Cook, 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 cook. Don't miss it, don't miss it. Now look, 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 look here. Kia, I just took out these amazing Oh my goodness. Ricotta, zucchini, stuffed zucchini. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Looks amazing. Y'all know I got to plate it up, right? Got to plate some of this goodness up. Now, mom, the ribs are keto friendly. The stuffed zucchini, ricotta stuffed zucchini is keto friendly. Potato salad, not so keto. Baked beans, beans are good, but everything, all this good stuff that I put in it, not so keto friendly. Of course, my guests, they got to have a dessert. So you know what I made? I baked a homemade banana cream pie drizzled in caramel. Y'all better go. <laughs> good, we good, though. I'm not playing. Okay, let's check this out. We're going to take a rib here. Gonna miss. Okay, so that's one of the ribs. Ooh -wee. Okay, let's see. We're gonna take some of this delicious. Oh my goodness gracious! Look at that. Oh my, y'all, come on, cook with Coca. So what y'all cooking? Nobody's cooking. Okay. Well, y'all come join Coco then. How about that? Come eat with Coco. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look how 
amazing? Doesn't that look delicious? We have sticky barbecue ribs. We have our stuffed ricotta zucchini. Of course, baked beans. We have some potato salad. Not so keto, but we mixed and matched it a little bit so everybody can get along. How about that? I'm going to taste this delicious stuffed zucchini roll. Oh my. Yes, sir. It's the bum diggity. Mm. Let's see about the sticky ribs with this amazing sauce. So good. So good. Oh my. Guys, look at this. You all have got to try. Got to try these stuffed zucchini, ricotta zucchini rolls. Y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Really puts you in the mind of lasagna. Tomato sauce, zucchini, ricotta cheese, mozzarella cheese. I put a little twist on I add a little parmesan. God, this is our dinner tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate, again, Mosaic Templars for allowing me a segment of their health and wellness celebration during the Juneteenth. Thank you guys so much. Love you all. Again, thank you guys for joining me. Until next Friday, I got another good one for you. Love you, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.